guys yash here welcome back to the channel i hope everyone is absolutely having a great day i also hope everyone is safe and sound out there with this covid19 pandemic going on thank you guys so much for tuning back to the channel if you guys already don't know me my name is yash i've been into e-commerce and digital marketing space for about two and a half to three years now and today i'm going to be giving you guys five proven and profitable six-figure potential products that you guys can start drop shipping from the month of April 2020 and onward. So definitely do drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you guys already haven't and join the family. I'm going to be putting out some amazing content comes summer and fall. So guys, I've done an hour or two of research over the past few days and have compiled these five amazing and proven products for you guys to start drop shipping and start selling you know from the month of april 2020 and onwards i guess you can say that this is kind of the coronavirus edition and the reason is you know with this pandemic going on people's buying behaviors is just really not the same online right people are a little bit more conservative when it comes to buying and making purchases online right they're thinking a little bit differently so these five products they rather focus on not only people's wants they but they kind of focus and address and accomplish people's needs right products that can be used and implemented in people's lives on not only a week-to-week -week basis but perhaps even a day-to-day -day basis you know with more people kind of being home now okay so guys uh along with the product i'm also going to be giving you guys a potential cost price the potential selling price the potential type and kind of store you can sell this product on um the gender and uh number five also some potential interests that you guys can utilize to start testing this product on facebook ads um so before we do move forward guys please do join and check out my free Facebook group, Ecom Masterminds. I will be leaving a link to that in the description below with all my other social media channels as well. And like I said, drop a like on this video so it can reach as many people as possible. So guys, let's jump right into it. I'm going to move myself right here. Our first product is called a two-in-one strainer. By the way, I'm using AliExpress for all these products just kind of for informational and showcase purposes. So depending on your situation, definitely make sure you guys have the supplier and a logistic kind of situation sorted out. Okay, just kind of wanted to make that clear. So what this basically is, it's obviously a kitchenware product. It's basically a basket strainer where, you know, people can basically... Um, you know, strain their vegetables and other foods, keep them fresh with ease, you know, without making a mess or whatnot. More and more people are cooking home right now, you know, those especially who are passionate. Some people are also learning to cook because, you know, they don't have anything better to do or just kind of want to learn a new skill or a new hobby or you know, even just simply to pass time. People also aren't eating as much, um, you know, outside, if you can kind of say as well, because a lot of restaurants are closing down and also for sanitary reasons as well, right? So I think this is a really cool and neat product um, that you guys can start selling now and again again more and more people are home so almost everyone is also cooking home now as well I want fresh foods you know probably cooking pasta vegetables and a whole bunch of other things that you can definitely utilize this product for so the potential cost price of this specific product is three bucks you can easily sell it for about three to five X more the type of store or the kind of do will do well for this kind of product would be a home improvement store or a kitchenware store, right? A store kind of dealing with all sorts of kitchenware, baking, cooking, all those sorts of products. Uh, gender, definitely male and female. Even though this is a kitchenware product, you don't want to be biased off the bat um, and say, you know, it's only for female. I know a lot of people um, like my cousins and uncles who are, you know, male figures that love to absolutely cook. Uh, some potential interest. Now I'm going to give you five interests for each product. These interests um, are a variety of interests, you know, magazines, interests, behavioral interests, uh, brands, professions, a whole bunch of other things too. Okay. So just kind of keep that in mind. It's kind of a whole plethora of different interests um, just to kind of get your uh, mind rolling and maybe even come up with other different interests based off of these ones. So some of them are Food Network, Home Appliances, KitchenAid, MasterChef, which is a TV show, and uh, Rachel Ray, which is a professional chef. The second product is a portable UV sanitizer wand. I think this was actually pretty cool. It's a little bit mid-ticket. Um, it's basically like an ultraviolet UV light. 
um, that basically kind of sanitizes different things and stuff like that. You can basically just take it with you. It's portable. Um, you know, it kills viruses, germs. So you can kind of really focus on the informational and kind of end result aspect of this product, kind of what people are able to attain. Um, this can be really, really uh, well. So you know, if people have a lot of people in the house, um, if people are still traveling or people are still going to work, you know, you can definitely take this with you. You can clean, you know, your phone, your laptop, your office supplies, your stuffed animals, literally anything to kind of, you know, uh, kind of sanitize it, kind of disinfect it. Okay. So I think it's personally really, really cool. Um, the cost price for this is about 47 bucks. Um, I know it's a little bit higher, but if you sell again, people on the end result, if you really focus on the features and benefits, it's definitely possible. Again, you have to inform people about products like these, right? It's, they're not as self-explanatory as sort of the two-in-one kitchen strainer, for example. Store type, a micro-branded one product store would absolutely work great, meaning a store based around or branded or built around this single product. Um, in terms of niche, travel, conveniency, survival, um, gender, both male and female, some potential interests would be OxyClean, housekeeping, Windex, uh, stay-at-home parents um, who maybe have a lot of people in their house at all times. You know, they kind of want to keep everything clean, especially with kind of what's going on. Um, nurses and kind of other professions that are still maybe going to work. Um, you know, they can just simply put this in, you know, their luggage or their pocketbook or something like that, their bag, kind of take them, take it with it to work and stuff like that too, right? So really kind of start thinking outside the box here for each potential product as well. Our third product, before we go to that, is our Powerball exercises. I think this was really, really neat actually. Um, with a lot of gyms closing and stuff like that, all these fitness enthusiasts, you know, including myself, I personally love to go to the gym. I personally love to stay in shape and work out and take care of myself. Um, you know, more and more people are going to start working out. More and more people are going to start working out because they're home as well, right? So they want to kind of keep that momentum going. So this is something that's portable that they can literally take with them throughout the house. Uh, it's basically like an upper arm and forearm exerciser. Um, and I think it's really, really neat. Um, you can see there's a bunch of pictures right here. These are actually really neat and clean pictures. Um, I'm going to basically play this video too if you guys want. Yeah, so basically, again, you, you can do different forearm and upper arm uh, exercises. They also come in four different colors as well, the product itself. Um, so the cost price is about $8.50. You can easily sell it for 2 to 4x more. Store type, a very well-built micro-branded one product store. This product is really, really unique. Like You wouldn't see something like this in Walmart or Target or any other retailer at all, really. Um, also, if you're in the health and wellness niche, the fitness niche, the self-improvement niche, you can also add this product to uh, your niche or your general niche store as well. Gender, male and female, obviously, you know, both boys and girls, men and women, they all work out no matter what gender you are. So it's very, very easy to tar uh, easily targetable in terms of that. So potential interest. Now, a lot of these interests are broad, guys, and it's good because, again, people's, people, m people's minds are a little bit different now. For example, if someone always didn't like cooking, they may be trying cooking now, right? If someone didn't always like working out, they may be trying to work out now. So most of these audience sizes are pretty large and that's kind of how you want to keep it considering how the kind of situation is right now, okay? So uh, physical fitness, fitness first, 24 hour fitness, which is actual gym, personal trainers, again, that's a professional or a profession uh, and personal care as well, okay? Our fourth product is a sling pluck game. I actually saw this on TikTok about a week or two ago, and I think it's pretty neat. Um, and I think this can be really targetable to people who are just home, um, kind of kids and parents and whatnot. Obviously, kids are, are not going to be buying this, but parents for their kids. Uh, with more and more people being home, you know, a lot of kids being home from school and whatnot, you know, parents probably definitely want to keep their kids occupied and not bored. Um, so I think this is another great kind of game. Um, you basically pluck like this little wooden chip right here and you try to make it across the board through like this little um, hole that's right here. It's really cool to keep people occupied. It's a great source of entertainment, you know, if not only for kids to play, for siblings to play, but also for families to uh, play as well. So I think it's it's kind of an entertainment sort of product, okay, which kind of goes in the niche, uh, which I was talking about in my last video. So with this product, the cost price is about $13.40. You can easily sell it for about 2 to 3x more. 
Um, store type, a micro-branded one-product store. Again, really centralize this product and just focus on a one-product store. Uh, some niche, maybe games, home improvement. You know, it's kind of a little bit limited as to what sort of niche you can really fit this product into. So I would personally say focus on a micro-branded one-product store. And again, this is very, very, very largely or widely targetable. Um, genders, male and female, obviously. Um, you know, if I'm a mom or dad, I can definitely buy it for like my niece, my nephew, for my kids. Um, some potential interest, foosball, because that's kind of the type of game it is almost. Uh, parents with various kids' ages, you can ac actually target on Facebook parents with different age groups, like toddlers, kids, teens, 9 to 12 year olds, 15 to 18 year olds. So that's something pretty cool. Um, hockey, arcade gaming, and board games are also something pretty cool. Again, these are all pretty largely targetable, kind of going back to my my point before, right? Like the interest size itself, it's very vast and it's very large. Our next product and final product is disposable paper soaps. This product is an absolutely banger and it's been climbing more and more over the past two to three weeks. You can even go into Google Trends and actually see kind of the climb of this product as well. If you go to Google Trends, go to United States, past 90 days, then you go to the shopping sort of intent. You can see that on not only on the graphs, but people are more and more searching of this specific product as well, okay? Especially because it has directly to do with being sanitized, okay? Or just, just being safe and healthy in general. Um, so these are basically small of soap that basically fit into a holder you can either buy them for 20 pieces or even 100 pieces i see i've, I've seen some other variations of it as well some other stores sell like 300 pieces at a time 150 pieces at a time so you can definitely find different suppliers and sell it in different quantities as well you can even have like a quantity breaker um for a, a larger AOV, average order value, like, um, you know, buy two, get 10% off, buy three, get 20% off, like in terms of groups of different products, right? You can see like they have almost 200,000 of these available, guys. So you can see that these will definitely even sell more and sell for the next few weeks as well, um, right? They have those many pieces for a reason. Um, the cost price for this is 20 50 cents about for 20 pieces and 250 for 100 pieces. You can easily sell them for 44 to 8x more. Uh, would definitely work on a micro brand of one product store uh, in terms of niche stores, travel, conveniency, kitchenware, cleaning, home improvement as well. Gender, both male and female, right? Everyone wants to stay clean, everyone wants to stay sanitized or sanitary. Potential interest, Clorox, uh, nurses, PTAs, anyone that is in the healthcare space, Mr. Clean, housewife, flight attendants, yes, there are some global flights still running around the world. So especially, guys, I think professions that are constantly traveling, you guys can definitely do some Google research, use your market logic, use your market intuition, you know, kind of people who are still traveling and going in and out the house. I think this would be also great to use within the house as well as, you know, a lot of retailers are running low of um, hand sanitizers and soaps in general as well. So um, I think it's a great, great, great product. It's a very low ticket. Uh, it's something that is, again, super in demand, super in need, right, in people's day-to-day -day lives. So guys, those are the five products. I gave you guys the cost price, the selling price, the store type that would be good on, uh, the gender, and some potential interest that you can start targeting on Facebook with as well. Now, in terms of Facebook interest targeting, I personally um, use this tool called Sell, Sell the Trend. It's not the only thing I use for you know for finding different interests and stuff like that. Obviously, I use Google. I use the Audience Insights tool on Facebook, which I made a video about. If you want to check it out, um, I will leave a link to that right here. How I use the Audience Insights tool to find potential interest. Um, I use a lot of my market intuition and logic because I've been in this space for some while now. You know, you just kind of build that. It becomes kind of um, you know second nature, just conscious to you. But uh, Sell the Trend, it's a great, great tool that has a great Facebook audience builder as as well with some other neat features in terms of product research um, and stuff like that too. So definitely check that tool out. Um, again, I don't rely on this for my, my, my interests like I was telling you before, but it's a great addition to find different interests and also to cross-validate different interests as well. They also give you a bunch of popular audiences right here as well so i will leave a link to sell the trend in the description below again check it out great audience builder great other features as well when it comes to you know finding six and seven eight figure potential products for you guys to drop ship
with. So that being said, guys, if you have any questions, any thoughts, any concerns, please do drop them in the comments below. I definitely and always reply to every single one of you guys. Hope you guys got some value, some insight from these. Guys, definitely go ahead and start selling these products. These are products that not only you can sell on Facebook, but also with Instagram influencers, by the way, too. Okay? Let alone with Instagram ads, obviously, because, you know, Facebook has acquired Instagram. So uh, with that being said, guys, thank you so much. Go implement some action. Do your due diligence. Do your research before you guys do sell these products in terms of supplier and logistics. Make sure everything is okay. Go out there. Go make some money. Go capitalize and be smart. That being said, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.